Rue all of a sudden wants to be a healer. Oh, she wants to start healing after what? Uh, eight, eight years or nine years of being an asshole. Michelle Visage wants to sit up there and act like she's the ice queen all the damn time. And I ask myself, well, what gives Michelle Visage license to judge LGBT talent and make young LGBT artists feel like shit about themselves? It just doesn't make sense to me. Hashtag just saying. And realistically, what hurts me the most is that these people have so much hatred for me and they lie in my face. They act like they're all friendly to my face. But the minute and the moment someone has an opportunity to influence more negativity on my name, they take it and do that. And that's really messed up. Just like Michelle Visage sitting up on Hate Queen talking about Carmen Carrera who? Like, what is that even for, Michelle Visage? What, what is your intimidation of me? You know exactly who I am. I'm the girl who you were begging to do your makeup every day on the tour. I'm the girl who told you that you need to have more patience with the queens and be more motherly and loving to the queens after you were talking so much shit about how much you can't stand the fucking queens on the tour. Yeah, that's me. The girl that's always trying to keep peace and unity. You know exactly who I am type of influence and the type of toxicity that you're pumping out there subconsciously is manifesting as toxic drag race fans and it needs to change it first starts with telling the truth putting our egos aside and being aware of the influence that we have on others and as far as me saying that Gia Gunn is a fake activist one thing is a means to promote yourself and another is a means to actually do the real work the groundwork that means going and participating in all of rallies and all of the meetings, like that's really that's really applying yourself as an activist. It's to go out there with no ego to learn things about other people in order to influence positive change.